All right, in this video, we're going to show you how you can use the key in your key fob and change the battery in your key fob for your Sienna. Do you see what I did there? On the, on the left-hand side of your key fob, there's a button. Press it, and your key should pull out the bottom left side, just like this. Could not be easier. Press that button, and it slides right out. Once you have your uh, key out, you can use it in the driver's side, not the passenger side or anywhere else. You'll see the keyhole entry and you can lock and unlock your vehicle. So if your car battery is dead, that is a great way to get into your car without using the key fob and to put it back. Pretty simple, just like that. Now to change the battery, you're going to use the tip of the key. See what I did just there? There's a little insert, and you'll go ahead and put it in there and kind of twist. We're going to pop the top of our key fob. It's plastic, so you don't want to be delicate. You don't want anything to break or crack. And you'll see the electronic piece in there. Go ahead and turn that over and take note of the orientation before you take it all apart so you know how to put it back together. And you can see the battery in there. And go ahead and put a new battery in. And I'll put links down below for the batteries that I like to use. Not that I change these regularly at all. But I did have to change it. In fact, the onboard dash on the Sienna told me, hey, your key fob battery is low. So that's kind of cool. I didn't know it was able to do that. Anyway, you'll want to, again, take note of the orientation of the battery as well. So you know which way to put it back in. You don't want to put it all back together again and find out you put the battery in upside down. And be careful not to touch any of those electronic components. You don't want to damage or leave grease. You know, don't eat a Butterfinger or a cheeseburger or something before you do this. Uh, and hold it by the sides. That would be my tip and recommendation. And then go ahead and put it back. Assemble it as you did in reverse. Reverse order. Pop the top back on. And it should click in all directions just like it did before and then you can put the key back in and that is it that's how you change the battery and also use that key in your key fob thanks so much click that like button if this video helped you and subscribe to the channel